Hi, I'm Tina O'Dwyer, and I'm delighted to welcome you to the 2021 Burren Slow Food Festival. We will be going on a journey around the Burren, meeting and chatting with a host of interesting personalities. You'll have a chance to hear from the great people of the Burren that are involved in farming, growing, fishing, distilling, brewing, and cooking. We'll find out how the slow food ethos connects them and how they work together to bring the wonderful story of the fertile rock to life. To tell us more about why food is such an important part of the Burren story, here's Dr. Eamon Doyle, geologist at the Burren and Cliffs of Moher UNESCO Global Geopark. Eamon is at Kirkham Row Abbey, where he's going to tell us a little bit more about the story of food production in the Burren. Well, we're here at Kirkham Row Abbey, and it's also known as St. Mary of the Fertile Rock. And the reason being that when the monks were here, they were able to grow all their crops uh, in, in the area surrounding here. The rock of the burn is very well known, but what people don't maybe know so much about is how, how much actually grows in the burn. It's, sometimes it's been referred to a moon-like landscape. It's not. It's the furthest thing possible from the lunar landscape. So we have fertile fields um, where a lot of things can grow in. So the reason for that is that a lot of the soils here are made up of ground up bits of limestone. So the soil has been made from ground up bits of limestone during the last ice age. So the ice was plowing through here, it was grinding up the rock and after the ice melted it left that behind. So where you see bare limestone rock, sure not much is going to grow in there. It will grow in the cracks between, in the, in the clints and the grikes between the limestone. But the surfaces that you'll see where the most growth will be will be on those uh, low domes and these are basically drumlins or glacial material left behind after the ice. 